Hey guys, Allie here again. Um, I just finished this really cool piece. It came on top of a canvas that looks like this. This one's already dry. I didn't really like the way this turned out. There's not the best marbling or cells and there's kind of these like little chunks that I'm not a fan of. I've been really looking to get good cells in my work lately. So when something doesn't work, I don't believe in just throwing it away. I believe in reusing it, experimenting, try, try again. This, I think literally that's what art is all about. Design, figure it out, keep going. So for this one, remember, whatever I pour on here, it's not a white base. Um, I just ordered from Amazon some amazing black um, canvases. So we're going to do some really cool negative space with that. We meaning, I guess, me. And um, some more white canvases and some more really, really dope paint. So stay tuned for that, but until that comes, me and my broken ankle are sitting here working with what I got. So, for this pour mixture, I'm going to use the same cup I just used, but I'm going to try and get, and this is the one, just so you guys can see, this is the one that I just created a couple minutes ago. A really cool beachy kind of feel. Uh, my birthstone's an opal, and so... I really like when I get lots of mixtures of colors of opals, as you can see in my my ring right there. That's kind of cracked, but you know. So let's see if we can get maybe more, hmm, I don't know. Let's just mix some colors, see what we get. How about that? If you guys have any comments or want to see a certain mixture of colors, I'm all about it. Um, I'm a huge experimenter, so you guys hit me up on the comment section and we will do it. I'm again all for it. I like to always start out with white for some reason. So in my pour cup, I'm gonna do a little bit of white. I'm gonna layer this one a lot more. I'm gonna do layer, 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 layer. Um, this is a kind of a turquoise I just created with a dark blue, a light blue, and some green. You can't really see the green in it, but up close you can. And again, the lighting's not the best in here but that will change here shortly, especially once I get a GoPro as well. But you got a ball on a budget. I'm gonna add, so so far you can see the white, the blue, this, I love this green. I don't know what it is, but maybe it's just cause it was just St. Patty's Day. I'm not sure, but this green is amazing. I'm kind of doing this in a rainbow, kind of, I just noticed I'm doing this a rainbow um, sequence so maybe that will have something else to do with it and then some really pretty pink and then let me do let me do just a little bit more white on top so so far you can see see my colors a little more white on top I'm going to take my handy dandy stick here, popsicle stick, and like I like to say, like a cappuccino person, uh, I guess a barista, I like to already kind of swirl the colors in the cup a little bit, not sitting here and mix, but just kind of get some, uh, some kind of lines going so you can see there. I have a feeling this one's going to turn out... A little bit more pink so I might actually add before I do this a hint more blue and we know when colors mix they also turn other colors so I never know it might turn a little purpley on me so all right so now we already have some marbling in the cup we're about to do our pour the most fun part. So, take the canvas, flip it, and ta-da! Ooh, it's a little darker than the last one. That's okay, I'm already seeing great selling. And when I say selling, I mean C-E-L-L-I-N-G, not like I'm selling my stuff. Although I am, if you want to buy some. <laughs> but that's what an artist term for this type of painting is. So let's swirl a little bit and see 
what we get. And when this dries, guys, you're going to be able to see the background a little bit of this. So there's going to be more pink and orange than it seems. So let's kind of stretch it down here and cover. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. I don't know if you guys do. If you do, hit the like button for me. And I'm new at this YouTube thing, but I really appreciate the support. All artists do. Um, you know, it's something that we do, are very passionate about, and do spend our, much of our careers trying to get our names out there and so forth. So as you're seeing with this one, what I'm going to do with this one, since it's not flowing all the way, I didn't put enough color in, I'm going to mix a little bit more yellow and a little bit more green and a tiny bit more white. Okay, so I'm going to do that, kind of mix that up in my cup and then I'm just going to kind of pour on the edge here. I'm not doing the dirty flip because it'll ruin the selling on the front, but I'm just going to kind of pour through here, give it maybe a little texture. I don't want to ruin too many cells, but I can kind of show you how we scrape sometimes, and it adds this really kind of neat texturing. There we go. See how that's pretty cool. And once I have my, um, I'm also in Amazon on the way, is my butane torch. So that will help a lot with the selling and how all of that works. So I'm going to let this kind of coat over. So you can see, so we filled in the gaps of the space. But the more we let this kind of slowly drip and get down to this bottom corner here. I don't know if you guys can see this well enough. Kind of just get all in there. And I'm so sorry about the lighting in here not being wonderful, but you got to work with what you got. And kind of coming down this way. There we go. So this one came out pretty cool. Um, again, when this dries a little bit, you're going to start to see the pink underneath. So this is what we got. It's kind of a neat marbling effect here. Um, I don't know, I like it. Hopefully you guys do too. As you can see, actually I wanna show you this. Um, I did this one a moment ago and you can watch the video beforehand on this, but see the pink that's already kind of showing through? That's what's gonna happen in this painting as well, so. Hopefully you guys like that, and I guess just stay tuned for some more painting. Like I said, I have a hurt ankle right now, a broken ankle, so fell down some stairs. It wasn't pretty. So I will be doing a lot of art this week, so stay tuned for my videos. Um, again, if you're an O'Call kid, thank you so much, or an O'Call faculty alum, thank you so much for your support. That's the school that I teach at. Um, and happy spring break to you all as well. Everyone else, again, thank you for your support. God bless.